Hello everyone. In this video, we will learn Class 8 Computer, Chapter 6, Computer Ethics, Crime and Security. So before going through this video, I want you to be with your textbook and pencil so that you can mark the important points. So let's get started. This is the content of this chapter, Computer Ethics, Computer Crimes, Computer Security. Firstly, we will go with Computer Ethics. Computer ethics are a set of moral standards that govern the use of computers, and ethics are rules related to the use of computers. These ethics can be stated what is right and what is wrong. Due to the advancement of technology, the criminal activities are also very much increased. So these people violate these rules just for money. In this chapter, Let's discuss about some ethical rules in the world of computers. First, intellectual property rights. When you buy anything or something, it becomes your property. Your property is protected by law, and you have right over that property. In the same way, if you produce thoughts with your own mind, it will be your property. If someone uses that thoughts and ideas without your permission, it is said to be illegal. Intellectual property rights refers to the right related with literary work, artistic work, inventions, etc. So literary work includes non-dramatic textual works with or without illustrations. They may be published or non-published. Computer programs and database are also considered as literary work. Artistic work means a painting, a sculpture, a drawing, an engraving, or a photograph. Invention. We all know what is invention. Invention is the act of bringing ideas or objects together in a novel way to create something that did not exist before. Next is copyright. Copyright refers to the legal right of the owner of intellectual property. In simpler terms, copyright is the right to copy. This means that the original creators of products and anyone they give authorization to are the only ones with the exclusive right to reproduce the work. Next is software piracy. Software piracy is defined as Illegally copying software that does not belong to you in a manner to violate the copyright. Example, when you download a copy of Microsoft Word from a file sharing website without paying for it, it is said to be software piracy. And this software piracy leads to losses of revenue and jobs in the software companies. Let's discuss various forms of software piracy. First one is internet piracy. Internet piracy. If we download an if we download an unauthorized material over the internet, it is called internet piracy. And then the second one is end user piracy. Each and every software has its own license. So if anyone copies any software without license, it is known as end user piracy. Next, counterfeiting. Counterfeiting. If we make a duplicate CDs of original software and selling and sell them at low price, it is called counterfeiting. And next is pre-install software piracy. If a manufacturer of computer buy a single copy of any software and install it illegally on one or more than one computers, it is called pre-installed software piracy. And the next online auction piracy. The selling of software that is never authorized for resale falls under online auction piracy. The limitations of Pirated software are there is no warranty protection and then it contains virus. Next is privacy. Privacy refers to the condition of being private or withdrawn from presence or view of others. 
it is an important aspect of life. It is illegal to go against the privacy of an other person without the agreement of the person. If someone permits you to view information onto his or her computer, you must not disclose it to other people. Next is computer crimes. Computer crime is an act performed by a knowledgeable computer user. So, the people associated with computer crimes are called hackers, crackers, breaches, information warriors, virus programmers, etc. So, let's discuss the two computer crimes. The first one is hacker and then the second one is cracker. Hackers are unauthorized users who break into computer system in order to steal, change, or destroy information often by installing dangerous malware without your knowledge. And then the second one is cracker. Cracker is someone who break into someone's computer system often on a network, bypasses pass passwords or licenses in computer programs. They steal files or programs and sell them to other people for monetary purposes. They can cause financial damages to an organization. Next is computer security. Computer security is the protection of computer system and networks from the theft or damage to other hardware, software, or data. It is the technique that are designed to protect a computer from unauthorized access, intentional theft, etc. So, computer security breaches can cause serious damages to an organization which may include loss of valuable data, loss of revenue, etc. So here, computer security breach is a, a violation of a law, agreement, or duty. So, computer security breaches are divided into various categories. Those are hardware breaches, software breaches, and network breaches. Hardware breaches, it can be both accidental and intentional, which may include cable, phone lines, and modems. Second, software breaches. It includes computer viruses and cracking of passwords. And then next, network breaches. Networks are used to transmit information, which can be trapped by illegal people to access computer information. So this is what all about this chapter. So today I will end up the video here. Thank you.